Hi, Owen Reese here again with Alpha Energy Laboratories. Here to talk to you today about our radon test kit, which you may already be familiar with, and uh, some of the more common errors that we see when customers are using this. So you can pass that along to the uh, homeowners who are testing this in their home. Uh, the most common error we see is customers failing to complete all of the information on the form. Information on the form is very vital in order to complete that test result. Notably, we need to know where the test was conducted, the uh, physical location of the test, as well as the start and stop dates and times of those tests. Those are key and are required for result. That's probably the most common mistake people make. Other common mistakes we see are uh, customers who, despite the warning on the backing, will customize or will cut through this paper uh, backing that cannot be ripped, punctured, tear, or any way uh, penetrated during the testing or that membrane is now invalid. That will invalidate your test. Uh, that's probably the most common errors that we see for customers other than our occasional transit and mailing delays. As you probably already know, the test kit must reach our lab within 12 days in most circumstances for a valid reading due to radioactive decay. We do occasionally get some, uh, some funny and interesting ones. Uh, a unique one I had not too long ago, I was talking to a very nice lady on the phone. She called me up and she said, I'm looking at the back of your test kit here and it says, do not remove, tear, or puncture this paper. She said, that's very clear. I understand I'm not supposed to puncture this paper, but how's the radon going to get in? The radon's got to get into the charcoal somewhere. So this lady decided she needed to turn it over and puncture the plastic side instead. So very creative of her, very, uh, she was a very sweet lady, but unfortunately that does invalidate the test. So anything that physically damages this test, causes it to lose charcoal, or causes the airflow to enter differently, can cause problems with that test. Just so you guys know, and I can be in the heads up for some of the more common errors and can better serve your customers, these are some things that might help you out when you're deploying these test kits.